I've done most of the things I want to do. The solar suitcase operates on basic electrical engineering principles. When the sun shines on the solar panel, it creates a photovoltaic effect, pushing electrons through wires and into a breaker. From there, the electrons transfer through a charge control and into the battery where it is stored. Coming from the load port on the charge controller for the low voltage disconnect, coming through the top, and then when they come out, the battery wire will go to the battery positive. The PV wire will go to the PV positive, and the load wire will go right to some receptacles to yeah. provide power. Let's say you only got 100 watts out of that. That would be 30 hours with one light, 15 hours with both of them on. But you're also maybe charging cell phones and things like that. Okay. You know, and that's pretty accurate. And we're, and we're setting up two panels with each. And basically they'll be on long cords, and they can stick them in a sunny location, and then Boom, so, they'll start charging their battery. That means if somebody gets hurt, or they hear sounds, or whatever, they can't see what's going on. They either light a candle, sometimes, and you, if people are trying to put in IVs by candle, doing exams, it just doesn't work. Kerosene doesn't work um, very well either. In generators, you only can run a generator when you've got fuel. And fuel's expensive, and it requires a supply chain. The nice thing about solar is there's no supply chain, right? It just, it just, it just comes to you. For The Daily Californian, this is Molly Bludoff and Delicato.